Hi everybody. I'm going to do a very quick video today uh, just to show you guys um, a very basic, simple method of printing an image onto a wooden surface. Um, this is specifically for black and white images. Uh, there is a different uh, process for transferring color images onto a wooden surface. Most, most people watching this video will know that. Uh, color images tend to run or to bleed um, much easier than black and white images. Uh, so the method that I'm going to show you today is how to transfer a black and white image very quickly and very easily onto a wooden surface. So the first thing I have here is some standard Decadry paper. Um, this is basically paper, an A4 sheet that um, adhesive labels would have come on. And what I've done is, as you can see, I've removed all the adhesive labels um, from the backing sheet. So now all I'm left with is uh, a standard A4 backing sheet that the uh, adhesive labels would have come on. So I took them off carefully. I took care not to um, tear or damage the paper. And basically what I'm left with now is just this, this standard A4 sheet. Um, and as you can see, it has a, a glossy uh, quality to it. Basically what I'm going to do is I am going to use my standard... Uh, home printer uh, to print an image onto this glossy paper because of the nature of the paper itself uh, the image is not going to soak into the paper it's basically going to uh, almost sit on top of this type of paper and then I'm going to transfer it directly by pressing it on to uh, the wooden object that I have uh, there's no need. I'm not. I'm not uh, sponsored by Decadry. I'm not recommending Decadry. It just happens to be uh, the brand that I use myself for printing labels. So I've I've plenty of them around the house. But I'm I'm almost certain that any uh, good quality adhesive label uh, sheet would would probably do the same thing. So this is the image I'm going to use. Um, I'm Irish, so I've chosen. Uh, a pretty standard kind of Celtic image. Uh, most of you would recognize this. It's it's usually called uh, the Tree of Life or the Celtic Tree of Life. And again, uh, just to remind you, as you can see, uh, this is a black and white image. Uh, there is a different process uh, for color images in terms of the way you prepare uh, the material that it's going onto, and also the way that you prepare uh, the paper itself. So this is just a quick, easy method uh, for printing black and white images. Um, what I've done is I've, you obviously you can use any image that you have the rights to, um, you can transfer a family photograph onto something that's wood, uh, you can transfer, um, pretty much any image depending on the size of the printer or the paper that's available to you. Uh, my printer is just a standard home inkjet printer. It's it's not a special uh, laser jet printer or it's not a special uh, uh, photographer's printer. It's just a normal uh, HP um, inkjet printer. And I've just selected this image. As you can see, it takes up about a quarter of the A4 page. And I'm now going, now that this image is um, sitting on top, if you like, of this adhesive background paper, um, I'm now going to transfer this image simply by pressing on it uh, onto the wooden and item. And this is what I'm going to move the image onto. Um, it's just a pretty standard uh, little wooden box. I think I got this in a, a discount store. It's designed for putting, putting, um, little trinkets or maybe jewelry into uh, the wood is is pretty light um, I have as you can probably see I have transferred images onto this before I use this for practicing and what I do is I, I just use a light sanding block so if I put an image onto this and I don't like it or I want to change it for a video I just sand down 
this area here or wherever the image is and then I can put on a new image and that's that's one of the great things about using um, this kind of method to transfer images onto wood is just say we put something on here and we don't like it or it doesn't transfer properly uh, using a sanding block you can very quickly remove uh, the image from the wood and just print something else or try the same image again um, this wood is it's pretty cheap like I said I got it in a discount store it's not in any way um, an antique item or a valuable item it's it's uh, just a pretty standard uh, light wood uh, box that I came across in a discount store and uh, I am now going to transfer the image that I've printed um, directly onto this part of the box so there we go uh, as you can see this only uh, took a couple of seconds and um, there's there's very little ink uh, left on the transfer paper and basically I just turned the transfer paper upside down onto the wood and the ink as I explained is basically doesn't get absorbed into the backing sheet it, it just kind of rests on top of it so when you press the sheet onto the wood uh, the majority of the ink transfers into the wood itself um, made a little you can see here made a little bit of a mistake um, I, I moved the paper slightly when you're transferring the image which is a big no-no if you move the paper at all obviously it smudges um, to be honest I'm probably going to sand this down quickly and try the image again but you get the general idea um, it's basically a very straightforward uh, transfer from the transfer paper to the wood itself uh, and again if you can see there the detail is actually is actually pretty good and um, you can see in the image the tree of life image that we've chosen uh, the detail is pretty good the ink has almost fully transferred uh, onto the wooden so box just to recap using. for everybody uh, it was a standard a4 sheet of deca dry uh, paper that came with adhesive stickers on it i quickly removed the stickers from the paper so that i was just left with the backing sheet um, i chose a standard uh, small black and white image printed it from my normal inkjet uh, home printer and then transferred it simply by pressing hard on the backing sheet while it was on the wood and the image has transferred onto this wooden surface uh, there was no special preparation involved in the wood obviously it would depend on what type of wood that you were using and um, this was just a, a, a cheap wooden box from a discount store so the wood was light and uh, wasn't varnished or painted in any way so the image went on very easily uh, obviously if you were putting an image onto a different type of wood or maybe a wood that was heavily varnished or painted I you would have to sand it down first and make sure that it was smooth and clean and ready to accept the ink of the image that you were transferring but all in all uh, a pretty a pretty easy a uh, simple process great idea for kids and um, if kids have a favorite toy box or crayon box or um, even items like uh, any kind of hardcover uh, notebook you can use the same method and you can personalize items uh, for people by printing their favorite photos or images uh, onto any surface that will ready to accept the ink um i hope the video makes sense i hope you liked it and uh if anyone has any questions just post them and i will answer them as quickly as i can thank you very much for watching